We are live from the Casablanca gym, although it's not us that are teaching this session today, it's our Cosmic Five Flyers, okay? So they're going to take you through what they do um, to make sure that they keep nice and flexible and stretched so that they can perform at their best. So um, I'm going to pass you over to them and you'll only hear from me if they need me, okay? So have a good session, everybody. Enjoy yourselves. Um, Flyers, as you, if you're the person talking or leading this section, I'm going to spotlight your video so that you come up big for everybody else, okay? So we're going to start with a warm up, and Emma Page is going to lead that warm up. So spotlight Emma. Okay, Emma, take it away. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to do 30 jumping jacks in your own time. When you are finished, next you're going to do thirty high knees. Once you are done with your 30 high knees, you are going to do 30 mountain climbers. So that's on your hands and feet. Oh, mountain climbers are shoulder taps, Emma. Oh yeah. Sorry. Mountain climbers, so hands and feet, pulling your knees up into your chest. <laughs> That's it, I'm done. Okay. Now it's Leah. Yeah. <clears throat> Just gonna stretch your neck, put it one side. Ten. Nine. Swap sides. Forward. I'm going to do arms, put it across your body. Swap arms. Okay. Up above your mind. Swap. Then you're just going to roll your ankles out. Then just lie on the front, like an arch your back. So you've got your hips on the floor, your legs are together behind you. Nice straight arms next to your hips. And push up and try and get your chest to the floor. Try and get your armpits down towards the ground so your hips are high up to the ceiling. Back out. Off again. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I think it's Lily now. Yeah, that's me. Um, 
So when we will stretch, we do splits first, just to make sure like our legs are stretched. So I'm gonna start with lunges. So I'm gonna lunge on my left leg and keep my back here on the floor. And then straighten in your front leg. And then put your back knee on the floor. And if you can, get your elbows down by the side of you. And then straighten the front leg and go down. And then we're going to slide and split and Lily is going to time it for a minute. Just go far down as you can. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, and if you can lean forward, lean forward. <laughs> When you do the splits, everyone needs to make sure that your back knee is facing down, your kneecap is down onto the floor. Try and keep your hips square to the front. Your front toe should be pointed. Both legs should be as straight as possible. If you're not all the way down, don't worry. Just keep stretching. If you are all the way down, you want to make it harder, you can put your front foot up onto a cushion or something like that to just increase that stretch. Halfway there. <coughs> 30 seconds to go. Ten seconds left. Okay, that's it. That was like the longest minute of my life. I actually got <laughs> Okay, um, and then we'll do the same on the next leg, so lunging on your, lunging on your right leg. <laughs> okay, and straighten your front leg. And then back knee on the floor and elbows down here, yeah, if you can. And strain your front leg. Okay, and we're gonna hold it for a minute again. We can count us in. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. So remember your back leg, your kneecap should be on the ground, so that leg should be straight. Your hips should be square to the front, don't let them twist to the side. Your front toe should be pointed. Really try and go as far down as you can. Doing a good job, everybody. So try and get that, your heel on the floor and your toes pointing upwards when you're in your split. And done. <laughs> okay, and then I think the last thing is box splits, but just go down as far as you can and we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> okay, you can help me in a little. Okay, three, two, one, go. Make sure you're keeping both legs straight. There should be a straight line between your feet and your hips, everything in a straight line. Ten seconds left. And done. Okay. Uh, Sophia, we're going to move on to uh, body positions now. 
Okay, Martin with Sophia. Okay, so we're going to start off with the heel twist. I'm going to demonstrate the counts, and then Leah's going to demonstrate a bow and arrow. We're going to turn the eight count music on, and we're going to do all the stretches to the counts uh, five times on each leg and with each stretch. So starting off with the heel stretch and then moving on to the bow and arrow. So for the heel stretch, you're going to start standing clean. There you go. Five, six, seven, eight. You're going to kick your leg up. One. You want to put it in three. Hold it five, clean seven. You're then going to do the same thing on the other leg. So five, six, seven, kick, one, pull, three, hold, five, clean, seven. Can you explain where you hold your foot, Sophia? Yes. Yeah, so, so when you're pulling your heel stretch, you're going to hold the middle of your foot. So not the ankle, the middle of your foot, and then your other hand is going to be up in a high V. And it's important as well, did you see when Sophia pulls her heel stretch that her leg is in front of her? If you show one out to the side, Sophia, so they can see what it looks like when it's wrong. So if your leg's out here, that's not right. You need to make sure that you, the, the sole of your foot, the bottom of your foot is facing forwards and that your leg is next to your face, okay? That's the, the position that we're aiming for. Carry on. Um, so if... Leah wants to show the bow and arrow and then we can do it to the eight count music. Okay. Okay, so you're just gonna kick the leg and you're gonna grab with both hands and then you're gonna just pull the arm through. The counts are five, six, seven, eight, one, pull three, open five, clean seven. And then you do it on the same on the other leg. If you can't do this yet then don't worry too much. It's just a case of continuing stretching. If you can do a bow and arrow, then you're welcome to join in with these counts. Who am I, who are we meant to be looking at? Still on you? Uh, me, me first of all, and then Leah. Okay. Back to Sophia. She want eight counts, yeah? Yes, please. Counters as well, Leah, yeah? Thank <laughs> you. 
right, who, who do you want me to go to now? Me. <laughs> me, who said me? Lily May did. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be doing scalps slash needles now. So the first thing you want to do is roll out your back and pull a few, do a few bridges. Just do that in your own time. So and then bridges, make sure your knees are straight and your legs are close together. You want to try and get your feet as close to your hands as you can as well. Really opening out your shoulders. Okay. Right, so now we're going to do splits on both sides, leaning back for 30 seconds as far as you can go. And hold that as long as you can. So we're going to start off with our left leg for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. If you can't reach back as far as Lily, that's okay. Just lean back as far as you can. really important to try and reach with your arm by your ear. Good effort, Lily Abbott, well done. Good effort, Emily. If you can't get all the way down in your splits, don't worry about leaning back, just stretch that split and hold it. First one. Good, Emma. Emma Ward. Okay, now switch over to the other leg and we're doing the same thing. Okay, three, two, one. Good effort, Isabella. Good effort, KD. Well done, SB. Good job, Ekin. Good try, Lottie. Good try, Izzy. Okay, that's 30 seconds. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to warm up our shoulders because when you pull needles, you need to be able to get your shoulders back to hold your leg. So just swing your arms back and forth and try and see how far you can get your arms back. That a few times. And then lift your arms up and kind of pulse it backwards as far as you can go. Okay, now we're actually going to pull a scalp. So we'll start on our left leg and you can grab however you want to grab. I personally grab this way and pull up and lift as hard as you can and hold it for 30 seconds. Oh, that's okay. like a scorpion. Five, six, seven, eight and up. If you can pull a needle, grab your shin or your knee or your ankles and straighten that leg. You need to make sure that the leg that you're standing on, guys, is nice and straight, okay? If you can't reach around with both hands, then just hold in with one and pull up as high as you can to begin with. Okay, and that's 30 seconds. Oh. <laughs> that's 30 seconds. <laughs> now switch over to the other leg and we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, three, two, one. Thirty seconds. Okay, Lily. You're on mute, Lily. 
unmuted, Lily. You need to unmute yourself, otherwise we can't hear you, funnily enough. <laughs> Press the screen. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to do fail. <laughs> so, um, I, there's one stretch that we're going to do before we do that. So, there's we're going to go into split and then kind of like lean them back, but you're going to twist your hips aside so it kind of looks like you're in scale. But in splits, I, I'm not sure I can explain, but I'm going to try and show you down here. Okay. So, just kind of sit in like this, but we'll do it for 30 seconds. Do it once time. Yep. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. And done. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and then switch legs and do it on the other side. So. Three, two, one. Oh, I just done the same leg. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Ten seconds. Time. Just stretching SB. Okay. So now we're actually gonna pull the scale. Um we'll do three on each leg and counts will go. Grab one, pull three, wait, five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Can I have eight counts, please? You can. Thank you. You want the counts? Grab one. Grab one, pull three, hold five, clean seven. Okay. So, I'm going to be teaching arabesque, or that like stretching them. So, I've got some conditioning exercises to help improve them instead. So, the first one is you're going to lay flat on your stomach and you're going to do 10 small left lift, leg lifts on each leg. You can do them in your own time. <laughs> so you're lifting one leg up behind you, yeah, lying flat on your tummy. Try and keep your knee nice and straight as you lift your leg. And then you, once you're done with one side, you're going to switch to the other. Once 
once you've done both sides, you're then going to do 10 with both legs together. Once you've finished those, you're then going to, still on your stomach, do 10 chest lifts. Your legs stay on the floor, you're just lifting your upper body off of the ground. Once you've done that still, laying on the ground, you're going to do 10 chest and legs together. So arms and legs come off the ground now. This is strengthening the muscles in your back that help you pull a good arabesque. Once you're done with them, we're then going to stand up and we're going to do needle kicks with your hands on the ground and your toes pointed. You're going to do 10 on each leg. Make sure both knees stay nice and straight. The leg that you're standing on needs to stay straight and the leg that you're lifting is nice and straight. Once you're done with that, um, we're going to do, can I have an egg count, please? Yep. So the counts are, to kick an arabesque, you're going to go, you're just going to kick one, hold three, five, clean seven, and you're going to turn, then you're going to kick one, hold three, five, clean seven. You're going to do that ten times. on the team. When you pull an arabesque, you should have your chest up. Your foot should be higher than your hips. Arms are in a team motion. Who am 
I going to now? Uh, can we have the screen share video, please? You can. Can you all see that? Yeah. Yeah. There's a right in there. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm going to be teaching that stunt section. It's our stunt one stunt section. And it's got pretty much all of the stretches we've just done. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you want to start standing up. Obviously, we did a bridge in our stunt, but we're just going to mark it on the floor. So, so, five, six, seven, clean one. Put your hands up and your right leg up, three. Sit five, other leg up, seven, and bend it one. So, just do that quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, foot seven. Okay, then we're going to turn to the front. Seven, one, dip three, and come to clean to the side. Okay, try all that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Turn one, dip three, five, and you're going to put your fists out on seven. Then we're going to dip one, half turn. And you're going to grab your foot like this and you're going to pull it up on eight, hit one. Try all that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, seven, one, dip, three, five, seven, one, dip, three, five, seven, eight, one. Once you've done that, you're going to swing your leg through on three and catch it and pull your best scalp slash needle that you can. And then we'll just try that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, seven. Turn one, dip three, five, up seven. Punch one, dip three, five, seven, eight, one. Three, four, five, as high as you can. Okay, then the next seven, you're going to, you're gonna be in school and you're gonna go seven, scale one, and hold that for three, then come into our best on five, and clean one. And that's, <laughs> so we'll try that all together. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, three, four, five, then seven. Turn one, dip three, five, up seven. Punch one, three, five, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, seven, seven. One, three, five, seven, one. We'll try that one more time. Did you want the music, Lily? Yes, please. <laughs> One, two, four, five, six, seven. One, three, five, seven. Turn one, dip three, five, up seven. One, dip three, five, seven, eight. One, pull three, four, five, seven. One, three, our best five, seven, down one. 
Okay, that's it. Stick, yeah. Oh. Let me unspotlight you. Okay. Hey, kids. Yeah. Calm down. Cool down. Sophia. Sophia. Okay, um, so now we're going to do a cool down. So it's just some light stretches so that you're not aching after all of these stretches. So I'm going to start standing up. Just going to circle your head from side to side. And go hold your head. One side, other side, you circle your arms backwards, and forwards, Then pull your arm lightly across your body. Bit sides. I'm gonna lean over on one side. Other side. Now stand in straddle, you're just going to lean down and put your hands on the floor. If you can't go all the way down, just hold it as much as you can. Then move over to your right leg. And left leg. Now we're going to sit on the floor. And I'm going to do this. Just lightly stretch it, don't push too hard. Then you're going to go up to straddle. And just go down towards one leg. And the other leg. And then softly hold it in the middle. Then move into a pipe position and do the same thing. Just go down as far as you can. From here, you're just gonna get your ankle like this and just turn it around. Circle it both ways. Change to the other ankle. Now we're going to do our wrists. So uh, put your wrist facing this way and then rocking back and forth slowly. And then up to the side like this. and then just circle your wrist around. And last thing, just roll your backs out in your own time. Okay, I'm finished. Is that the end or is there anything else we're done? That's it. Okay, thank you for joining us for our stretching session today, guys. I think our next session is um, tomorrow again at four o'clock, live from the Casablanca gym. It'll be me and Johnny teaching tomorrow's one. It's a strength and conditioning session. Okay, so we hope to see you all again tomorrow. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Thank you to the Flyers for leaving today's session. Let me unmute you all. You can all have a chat.
and a wave. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. <laughs>